I like his ability to get to the second level. He gets his hand on the linebacker and creates enough space for the running back to get through. That's something uh, the Dolphins O-line is lacking in. But then again, that's the downside. He will lose some battles right there, right off the snap. And then he'll recover like this one. So he gives up a little bit of um, space and strength, but then he firmly plants his feet and gains control. And he does that often. Second level again. Gets his hand on. I wish he locked in a little better, but still good enough. Right here. Watch right there. Gets his feet planted into the floor. And even though he's close to the quarterback, he doesn't let the guy get close enough to uh, contact the quarterback or tackle him. Right. Boom. Look at that footwork. I love it. Plants both feet in the ground. And that's the downside. I mean, it goes for a big play, but he does whiff on that block, but then he'll recover. What I've noticed with him, his good plays are really good, and his poor plays are, eh, he could have done better. I'm not seeing anything where it's like, oh my God, I can't have this guy playing at right tackle. Right here. Gets pushed back. You could tell he tried to plant his feet, didn't get through. One thing I have noticed watching his film, it's his strength. His strength right off the snap is the issue, but then he recovers quickly. And if he does it in time, he's usually able to cancel the uh, pass rush. 